Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. All around the world, all around the world, it's some easy ass work, easy work. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest. Now, Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor is the talk of the town. Conor McGregor, he allegedly worked out a deal. That's what he confirmed to his website, themaclife.com. Check them out. Dana White also confirmed that on NBA, on TNT. They called him up, I think, on halftime, and they were talking to him. And as far as Conor McGregor's side, the UFC has worked out a deal that works for both of them. And the next order of business is to speak with Al Heyman, who is one of the masterminds that helped Floyd throughout his career after he left top rank, and deal with the Mayweather side to make the fight happen. Now, Conor McGregor, he's been posting some cryptic messages. I did videos on him. He, he posted his UFC belts with his son, his newborn, him and his girlfriend had a kid, a longtime girlfriend had a kid, so congrats to them. And he says, here's some UFC belts, time to go get some boxing one, son. And he posted that. This is after the news broke that Conor McGregor had signed his end of the UFC or worked out a deal for that. Then he also did a, I did a video today, he talked about sign the contract Floyd, otherwise you're just a mouse. And my latest video regarding this situation, he says he's basically always been counted out. And he says, I have no chance, but people always say that. So as far as his side, it looks like he's anticipating the Floyd fight. So this is positive signs of life for those who wanted to see Mayweather versus McGregor. Now, I just watched a video, shout, to, shout out to Helen Yee Sports and Eyes on the Game. Link in the description so you can hear the interview is with Jeff Mayweather, Uncle Floyd Mayweather. And he says that he knows Floyd came in to train at least one day. He said they did five rounds, he was coming late. But he did confirm that Floyd sparred and it was with the UFC fighter. He says, I don't know who it was, it wasn't Kevin Lee, because I guess that's one of the rumor people that might come in to work with Floyd. He says it wasn't him. I'm not sure who the guy was, but I was told that it was a UFC fighter, right? So all indications that he might be gearing up, getting in shape, and Floyd is the master of making people wait and doing things on his own terms. So when the announcement comes, if it does come, it'll be from Floyd, and he'll just do it whenever he wants. I remember, I don't know if he still has the app shots, but I remember that's how the Pacquiao fight was announced. He was like, Everybody download shots. You know what I mean? And every, everybody download it. And then you've seen him post a contract and whatnot. So Floyd, he, he likes the suspense. He likes to be in control. Pause. And he'll probably make people wait. And Jeff Mayweather said that too. He says, Floyd, he might make the UFC wait since they took so long to, to negotiate their side. So he might make them wait. And they were talking. He, he can't really give up much information. He does. He said there's a big announcement that he has. He's been meeting with Floyd on some business. He says the announcement will come between September and December. But he didn't really want to go into it and reveal. You guys can watch the interview, but didn't want to reveal what it was about. And he also talked about the conflicting September date since Canelo versus Golovkin, a huge fight, big fight in boxing, was announced. He says I don't know when it will happen, but I think it should happen either the month after that or before that instead of like trying to go up against a, a fight like that but he said if it were to happen in las vegas it sounded like he says mayweather mcgregor can can take that date you know what i mean and make make canelo Golovkin can fall back i might have misinterpreted what he was saying there but go check out the interview again helen ye sports check it out let me know what you guys think but this is positive signs for those who want to see the fight made with a McGregor. Again, I'm going to keep saying this. People who are complaining, yet they're on all the videos. I'm going to be covering the fight, right? I'm going to be doing videos and building up to the fight. If you don't like it, why are you clicking on videos about the fight? You know what I mean? So a lot of you guys are full of shit when it comes to not wanting to see the fight. Because if you, again, didn't want to see the fight... You wouldn't be jumping on every video. And it's not even like the video's been up for a day or two and then you decide to come. I'm talking about I upload a video and within the first five minutes, 30 minutes, 
there on the video, the people complaining, like, oh, this fight is, this is a travesty. This fight ruins boxing. This shouldn't count as the 50th fight. Then why are you here? You know what I'm saying? Like, if, it, if you hate it so much and it's so egregious to you, why are you on all the videos? You just have to spread the message about how horrible of a fight it is. You know what I mean? So, Jeff Mayweather said it best in this interview. He said, money talks. It's about money. You know what I mean? And there's no one that can challenge that. There's no one that can say that the fight won't make money. In fact, Canelo versus Golovkin is a better fight in terms of boxing because they're two boxers, two guys, you know what I mean? One loss between the two guys. And this is a fight that fans have been craving for. However, with that being said, I still think the Floyd versus Conor McGregor fight has the ability to perhaps have a live, like a, a bigger live gate and gross more money than the more meaningful fight because you have to take into consideration that the UFC is its own sport, its own demographic. People that don't even really care about boxing too much, maybe they care about their guy in the UFC. So for that reason, they would watch it along with boxing fans, along with there's different elements like the race card, like an African-American undefeated fighter going up against another trash talking, a guy who, who's kind of cloned the Mayweather blueprint in terms of the Las Vegas flashy lifestyle, nice watches, GQ sharp tailored suits and the trash talking. I mean, it's very evident. I'm not saying Floyd is the only one that's done that, but we know what Floyd has done and he's been in the spotlight doing it. So it's not easy to, or it's not hard to go on YouTube and type up Floyd Mayweather best trash talking moments or, or whatnot and see this or watch the old 24 sevens and, and all accesses and stuff. So we already know what, what time it is when it comes to that. Again, if you hate the fight, then why make a video about it? Why write articles about it? Why talk about it? Because at the end of the day, just like Jeff Mayweather saying with the fight, money talks and people are trying to make money. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because if let's say you're a boxing channel and you hate the fight, then why make a video about it? Because you're trying to drive traffic to your site, even though you're slandering the fight, telling all the fans it's a horrible fight, right? You're writing articles or you're making videos about the fight because you know it's popular and it's trending and people are talking about it. So don't be a hypocrite. If you don't like the fight, then pay it no mind. Don't talk about it. Don't try to collect money off of it. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what happens. We know how the game goes and people are gonna pin up a million articles whether they're bashing the fight or not, they're gonna make videos. You know what I mean? Why wouldn't you focus on all, if, if you're a boxing channel or whatnot, why wouldn't you focus on all the beautiful boxing fights and the best um, top middleweights or, you know what I mean? Do a video about anything. You could do a video about anything. Keep it only boxing or only things that you want to celebrate. But that's not what people do. People show and bleed hypocrisy because they hate the fight and they say, oh, it's a, oh, it's a money grab. But what are you doing? Even by talking about the fight and slandering it, you're trying to drive traffic to your whatever you do, whether it's a website or YouTube or a boxing forum on Facebook. That's why you're talking about it, just like everybody else. So sit down, have a Coke, and shut the fuck up. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.